Hello friends, welcome back to InvestFit Ara. The stock being taken today is Syntex Plastics Technology Limited. The Excel spreadsheet in front of you is an Excel program wherein we put financial data of a particular stock and arrive at a conclusion on to whether to invest in that company at this point of time or not. The fundamental data are taken from an app known as the StockEdge app. So let's go to Syntex Plastics Technology Limited. The last traded price of Syntex Plastics Technology Limited was 25 rupees 60 paisa on 9th of November 2018. Now let's go to fundamental tab and understand about the sector industry in the company. Sector is plastic products. Industries, plastic products. Let's understand about the company. Syntex Plastics Technology, headquartered in Kalol, Gujarat, is a globally respected conglomerate with a large and growing presence in plastic processing. The product of the company includes water storage solutions, interiors, energy solutions, environmental and green solutions, industrial, electricity, and SMC products. So this was about the company. Now let's go to the financial indicator. We'll be using this financial value onto our Excel program. The first is market cap, which is 1615.43 crores. Clearly a small cap company. Now the EPS is 1.86. Price to earning ratio is 13.77. Industry PE is 22.55. Book value per share is 58.42. Price of book value is 0.44, dividend yield is 0, the face value is 1 and number of shares subscribed is 63.10 crores. Now let's come to return ratio, for that we'll have to click on ratios tab and we could see the return ratio. The first is return on equity which is 4.17, return on capital employed is 6.26, return on asset is 1.52. So overall return ratio has not given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time now coming on to efficiency ratio the first is EBITDA margin which is 13.26 EBIT margin is 7.99 PAT margin is 2.38 earning per share is 2.21 this is the trailing EPS asset turnover ratio is 0.64 days of receivables is 68.17 days of payables is 53.43 days of inventory is 41.05 so overall the efficiency ratio has given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time. Now coming on to growth ratio. The first is net sales growth which is negative 5.68. EBITDA growth is negative 26.8. Net profit growth is negative 67.64 and EPS growth is not rated. So overall growth ratio has not given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time. Now coming on to solvency ratio, the most important ratio in shortlisting any of the stock. The first is total debt to equity ratio which is 1.12. When we click on 1.12, we get to know that the total debt in the company is 3871.5 crores. Whereas the net worth of the company is 3558.12 crores. The interest coverage ratio is 1.51. Now when we click on 1.51 we get to know that the earnings before income tax is 455.46 crores and it has decreased in comparison to previous year and the interest that the company is paying is 301.7 crores and it has increased in comparison to the, the previous year. The current ratio of the company is 1.42 so overall solvency ratio has not given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time. Now coming on to cash flow ratio the first is cash flow per share which is 11.13 and free cash flow per share is 4.49 so overall cash flow ratio has given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time now coming on to valuation ratio the first is price to earning ratio which is 26.06 price to book ratio is 1.02 price to cash flow ratio is 5.18 EV to EBITDA ratio is 9.44 and the market cap to sales ratio is 0.62 so overall valuation ratio has given us a signal to buy this stock at this point of time. Now the program in its entirety has given us a signal 
to not to invest in this company at this point of time hope you might have liked this video kindly like share and subscribe thank you